All right, so uh, we kind of created this loft in Rhino. I'm going to go ahead and, and kind of turn all of that off. Um, let's go ahead and make layer three current. I'll turn that guy off. So we don't have anything showing, and I am going to start Grasshopper. So let's go ahead and make perspective a big one. And pull this down into the corner. Always fun to have two screens. Right, and then let's pull this down. Oop, come on. Pull it over. Right, and start creating our little guy. Okay, so um, I kind of have one set up, um, and we'll take a look at how this guy, how I created this sort of straight loft, and then we'll look at. Um, creating one that's a little offset, right? So let me go ahead and I'll disable, right, all of those. And so basically the first thing we have is a polygon. Up at the top, um, you can go to the curves and under the primitives, you know, there's a polygon. You can also right click or um, double left click and type polygon you know and it'll give you the polygon option and you, it'll bring this little node out and you see it created another one and if you hover over these inputs you have the plane so it's drawing on the XY plane I don't think we really actually need that um, you can put the plane in and then the radius is 0.8 you can see it's going to 0.8 right there and the sides are set to 7 okay and so we have one polygon and then what we do is we take that and we move it in the Z. So if I come over here and let's just pick these guys and enable those, right? We're moving it up in the Z. So this move node, right? So the quickest way is just to double left click and type move, right? Whoops, spell it correctly and you can get the move node out. Um, it takes the geometry, so we're pushing the polygon in and then it wants the direction. So we want to move it in the Z. So if you double click and type Z, it'll give you the unit Z, right? So you could do X or Y. And then this factor is a number slider. So I just type, you can type number slider. Or the quickest way to get a number slider is just a double left click and you can do one um, dot dot, you know, 30. And it'll give you a slider from one to 30, right? This one obviously goes to 10. Um, but you get a number slider that you plug in and I can then change the distance that I'm offsetting. So now I have two polygons, the first one and the second one. But I want this one to be slightly bigger so I bring out a scale non-uniform. So um, if I enable this guy, oops, let's go ahead and enable that guy. Right, you can see that this is the scale factor of two of that, right? And so we still have our original one and we just create it. It's a non destructive process. And then we just do the same thing again, basically, is we move and scale the one we just made, right? So if I come in here and enable that, now if you zoom out, right, it moves that original one. You could scale and then move, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then it moves it up there. Then what I do, and you don't have to use this merge, um, it just takes the first polygon, right, there it is, the second scaled polygon, and the third scaled polygon, and puts them in a little, um, in a little list. So I come in here and plug that in, you'll see it's just making them one, two, three polyline curves. And then there's a loft command that will take closed lines or um, curves and loft them, right? So there's a straight um, loft, right? The thing that's nice, of course, about Grasshopper is that you can come in and adjust these. So like if I wanted to make the radius, now the scales are all running at the same, but if I want to make the radius bigger, or smaller here, right? I could make that small. And then if I wanted to make this bigger, I could come in and if I double click on this, I'll make this to 30, right? Click okay. And then I can make that bigger and the other one 
smaller, right? I could also go in and this guy, it was tiny. And now it's getting really funny because that one's, you know, a little far away. So maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe 0.4 is too small and you, you bring it. And you can start also playing with where the sections are, you know, so you're moving that up and down that section. Um, and then um, when we come back, we'll sort of shift it and then project it um, onto a curving plane.